What is up YouTube? High Tech Lab here. Today I'm going to show you guys more progress on this uh, control panel I have. Um, some of you guys may have noticed in my previous video I made mention to a PLC. This here is the Click PLC from Automation Direct. I have it installed and hooked up and programmed with a 60 watt, um, 24 volt DC power supply. It gives me about two and a half amps. And I have just some, um, some power relays. These two are gonna get changed. These two are not used. This is my generator unloading contactor. And then this is um, a relay that sends power to the generator, crank, I mean glow plugs, crank, and then this activates this contactor from the PLC. Um, I have my alarm up here. Oh, focus. And I have a 24 volt AC power supply transformer here. Um, so for inside the cabinet, oh, and there's a solid state relay down here. For inside the cabinet, that's about um, all I can really tell you. Uh, these two relays, what they do, uh, this one right here goes, if you see this jumper right here, uh, it switches between going through the solid state relay and the uh, jumper, and then the one to the left switches between generator and inverter power. And what that's for is that's for the hot tub. So that way when the generator is running, I have this fast heat mode where instead of using the diversion relay where it waits for the batteries to be full and then slowly tapers up the heating, it, uh, it actually runs the heating element at full blast. And I've calculated because the, the element is 15 amps and the battery charger for the, um, for the batteries, are at, um, it pulls about 30 amps. I've calculated 45 amps draw. That way I can put that on the generator without overloading it and uh, without draining on the batteries. Um, so let me go over some functionality here. Let me just go real quick and close this up. I have two uh, interval timers, one up here and one down here. I still need to do labels. I actually just finished this project uh, as far as the wiring and stuff. So this is the runtime for the generator. So I have this twist knob here and in this mode it's um, generator control off. This mode, that's manual start mode. And then this mode is auto slash manual start mode. So normally it stays in that uh, location. But one of the things I experienced already is if this is in generator off mode and you try hitting the, oh, sorry, you try hitting the start button, it doesn't do anything and it doesn't really give you an idea that it's trying to do something. So what I went ahead and did is if you're in the off mode, be, through the PLC, I made it so it'll flash this light to grab your attention. That way you realize, okay, you know, the switch is uh, is not in the correct position. So if we turn that to the manual start mode, I can go ahead and hit the start button for the generator. Now this light shows that it was uh, started manually. This one shows when it started us automatically. This is uh, accessory power, glow plugs, crank, and then this is showing that the generator power is connected through uh, to the system. So those are all lit up by the PLC and all the timing and stuff is a, is a drum within the PLC. So now you can see the lights on and you may have heard, uh, heard the clunk. That's that uh, 50 amp contactor closing. And here pretty shortly, uh, actually I have this. There we go. Now this kicks in and is charging the battery. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and shut that down. And then a few seconds later, the exhaust fan kicks in um, and now it's fully running and you can see this is the light for the exhaust fan and it's blinking showing that it was automatically controlled. Now I also have manual time for the exhaust fan so I can program the exhaust fan for an hour and hit the green start button and it'll exhaust the air for an hour. I could also stop that um, where I manually uh, started the exhaust fan. Then another thing I have, this is that fast heat for the spa. So you can push the button and I don't know if you have really good headphones, you may have heard the generator just now loaded down more, you could have heard it. Um, but we're gonna turn that off. So uh, I programmed it with the same button 
to turn it on and off. And then I have another one here, the red button. And I again, I still need to label these. This is called a uh, diversion off mode. So when you hit the button, and if you hit it uh, twice on accident, it'll kind of glitch out, but you can always just hit it again. What this is doing right now with this button activated is when the batteries become full and it sends a signal from my charge controllers over here, um, then it actually will shut down the generator. So it'll either run out of time or it'll turn off from this uh, diversion power down feature. Now another thing I still need to do is I'm gonna tie into this inverter's power switch because that draws approximately 180 watts when it's uh, just at idle. And I want the PLC to go ahead and turn that inverter on for me when either the generator runs or when the diversion power for the spa kicks in. So the diversion power when we're running on solar and we have let's say a thousand extra watts, it'll only it'll uh, do pulse width modulation on that solid state relay and that pulse width modulation uh, only allows a certain amount of power to go through so I want it when that starts doing that pulse width modulation to actually turn on that um, battery charger so anyway I maybe I'm I'm speaking a little over someone's head but um, I mean it makes sense to me uh, I, I definitely want to see what you guys think in the comments below so be sure to to write a comment I'm gonna go ahead and hit the stop button on this generator and focus. Thank you. So this is stop. So it's still running because it, it unloaded with this contactor and now it's, um, there we go. Shut down the rest of the way. Now I'm gonna go through this start procedure again with you guys. So there's start. You can see better. Yeah. I suck at this. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. I need some wire management, but oh well. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.